There are two distinct phases to the wealth management process. There's the accumulation phase, when you're building your wealth, and there's the decumulation phase, when you're effectively living off that wealth. Now, we tend to focus on the accumulation phase, but in many ways it's decumulation which presents a bigger challenge. Mountaineering provides us with a useful analogy. There are actually more deaths and accidents coming down the mountain than climbing up it. And it's the same with wealth management. In the accumulation phase, um, you have options. So you can contribute more into your portfolio, you can de delay retirement, you know, you can take risks, um, you know, different risks um, levels in your portfolio. So there are options there. But once an individual, uh, you know, makes the decision to retire, once going back to work is no longer an option, then, um, you know, you have this challenge of um, you know having so many unknowns so we don't know what investment returns going to be in the future we don't know what inflation is going to be how cost of living is going to rise especially over a very long period of time and then of course we the most important question we don't know how long you live you're, you're going to live for so you have fewer options in decumulation and you also have some big unknowns. It's a complicated problem to solve. Get it wrong and you can come badly unstuck. I think that the biggest mistake that I see in this space is when we do the natural thing as humans, we think in straight lines, you know, so someone in, in retirement can make a simple assumption to say, well, you know, suppose um, investment market, uh, my portfolio grows at 6% a year, um, let's say inflation does 2% a year, then if I draw X from my portfolio, it should last me a lifetime. Of course, the real world doesn't work that way. Uh, you know, investment return doesn't exist in this straight line um, way that, that we're thinking about it. So how much money can you afford to spend in retirement? Well, a popular rule of thumb suggests you can spend 4% of your portfolio's value each year without running out of money. But for Abraham Okasnaya, it's crucial that you seek professional advice on the right number for you. The challenge is that there isn't a single um, withdrawal rate for that works for everybody because everybody um, has different portfolio, right? Different tolerance to risk. And so different asset allocation, you've got to be able to factor in fees and charges into the equation. You've got to be able to factor in your individual time horizon. Um, you know, if you had a couple, for instance, the picture changes completely. And one more thing, it's wise to consider the worst case scenario, perhaps a huge market crash just as you give up work. There's nothing wrong with hoping for the best, but be sure to plan for the worst.